With me and my best friends. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Quack a doodle do. Quack, quack. Do you guys know what bird I am? That's easy, Paula. You're a duck. Now it's my turn. Quack a doodle do. Can you guess it? <laughs> You're a rooster, Tim. You're right, Paula. How about me? I'm an owl. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> sure, Billy. Hey, guys, check out Calc and Chalky. Chalky's pretending to be a chicken, and Calc looks like a little chick following him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the phone. I'll get it. Hello? Paula speaking. Hi, Paula. It's Prince Emil. I need your help. What's wrong, Emil? It's my new pet bird. She can't seem to fly. Please, can you help her? The poor bird. We have to help. Don't worry, Emil. We'll be right over. Hi, Emil. Hello, friends. This is Esther. She's an emu. Someone from very far away gave her to me as a gift. You're the biggest bird I've ever seen. Yeah, look at her long legs. And she has a lot of feathers. Cool. Um, if Esther has so many feathers, then why isn't she able to fly? Maybe she's nervous and needs a little encouragement. Let me try. Come on, Esther. You can do it. I believe you can fly. You can fly. You can fly. You can fly. Yes, you, can. Can. you, you can, can. You can. can. You can do it. You can, you can do fly. it. Um, I don't think that's working. I know what's wrong. Esther is too heavy. She needs to lose weight. Then she'll be able to fly. Let's do some exercises, Esther. Follow me. Come on, Esther. You need to try. Hey, guys. What if Esther doesn't know how to fly because no one taught her? I think it'll be easier for Esther to understand if we do it step by step. Okay, Esther. Step one, run. Step two, flap your wings. Step three, jump. Step one, run. Step two, flap your wings. Step three, jump! Aw, oh, man. Esther still didn't fly. Is that Esther's wing? It looks really tiny. I don't think her wings are strong enough to help her fly. Oh, I know. Mr. Mechanic can help make Esther a pair of big, strong wings. Great idea, Tim. We'll be right back with Esther's new wings, Emil. Everyone, to Mr. Mechanic's workshop! Mr. Mechanic! Mr. Mechanic! We need your help to make a pair of big, strong wings. It's for a bird that can't fly. Aw, oh, that's really nice of you children to help the little birdie. Actually, Esther isn't little at all. She's huge, probably even taller than you, Mr. Mechanic. That's why we have to make sure the wings are strong so that it can keep her up in the air. Okay, one pair of wings for a big, tall bird coming right up. Ta-da! What do you think? Wow, these wings are amazing. I'm sure Esther will have no problems flying once she uses this. Just press this button right here to switch it on and off. Thanks, Mr. Mechanic. Let's go back to the palace to give Esther her new wings. Hi, Emil. Hi, Esther. We got the wings. Um, maybe we should test the wings before Esther uses them, just to make sure everything's okay. Good idea, Billy. I'll switch it on. Wow! Awesome! It works! Oh, no! The wings are out of control! <gasps> Watch out! Don't worry, Calc's got it. They're scaring us throw away! Oh, dear. And 
Hulk's flying away. Hurry! We need to catch both of them. Huh? Come back, Esther! Wait, my prince! Where are you going? Esther, where did you go? Calc! Where are you, Calc? I know where they <gasps> are. Uncle Sphinx! There's Esther. Esther, you're okay. What about Calc? Look up here. Calc, you're also okay. I'm glad no one's hurt, but I guess Esther shouldn't use the wings Mr. Mechanic made. It's not safe for her. <sighs> we need another plan to help Esther fly. Emus can't fly. There are some birds that do not fly. And emus are one of them. Oh, I thought all birds could fly. I'm sorry, Esther. I shouldn't have tried to force you to do something that you couldn't do. Do not worry. There is still a way for your emu to fly. What do you mean, Uncle Sphinx? This is so awesome! Look, Esther is pretending to fly! Woohoo! Yay, Esther! Esther! Like, subscribe!